Welcome back. New exhibition, the Albuquerque Museum proudly presents indigenous art, culture, and community that is featuring ceramics, beadwork, prints, paintings, and some other uh, beautiful artwork that is produced by award-winning Native American artists. This exhibition explores how artistic creation at the Indian market has been the center of the creative community building over the last century. We are joined this morning by the museum director, our good friend Andrew Connors, finding out more about this wonderful exhibition and what the, com the community rather is in store for. Andrew, it's great to have you with us. David, it's always good to be here. Thank you so much for this coverage. Definitely. So, you know, we, and we cannot uh, tout this e enough that how amazing the Albuquerque Museum is, you know, to have all these wonderful uh, works displayed. But uh, this one in particular, because we have a rich, you know, history and, and, and life with uh, Native American tribes. Well, we're very fortunate that we've got a museum of this caliber supported by the city of Albuquerque and that we have donors like Ruth and Sid Schultz, uh, the collectors of most of these objects or all of these objects. And they've really been supporting native artists since the 1960s. And uh, they developed long-term relationships and friendships with the artists. Uh, Dr. Schultz um, was a doctor at the University of New Mexico, um, an incredible bone doctor. And and uh, Ruth Schultz has been deeply committed all of her life to uh, Indian market and to supporting the artists that uh, are really expressing new voices, expressing tradition in new ways. They're an astonishing couple. Um, both uh, recently passed away and their family wanted to make a living tribute to them by donating these objects to the Albuquerque Museum where they can be shared by our community. Yeah, uh, everything in that collection, it runs the gamut from, like we said, you know, even the, what, the ceramics to paintings to, to everything. What, what do we have in there? Well, um, the, this is one of the beadwork uh, works by Marcus Ammerman, for instance. This is another Marcus Ammerman, uh, Janet wow. Jackson yes. from the cover of Rolling Stone magazine, done uh -huh. in beads. Um, Marcus Ammerman is a Choctaw artist. Helen Hardin prints and uh, paintings. Um, these are an incredible pair by, of boots by Jamie Okuma. Um, and Jamie is a star uh, beadwork um, artist. This is a purse by her mother. Um, and her mother was also a beadwork artist. Uh, so there are so many great traditions that are represented in this exhibition. Uh, Emerson, uh, Chi, or Chi Emerson uh, created this image of the Gallup intertribal ceremonial and the Schultzes, uh, Dr. and Mrs. Huh. Schultz are uh, depicted in that image. So um, it's just a great diverse uh, celebration of the vitality of native artists and the expressions, the way that they build on tradition and take it to new places, the way that best artists do. Now I heard you mention one of the, the Choctaw, uh, somebody yep. from uh, the Choctaw heritage, and, mm -hmm. and so obviously it's not even limited to just the Native American artists from New Mexico, right? No, um, the, the Schultz is mostly collected New Mexico artists, but um, many of the artists, Marcus Ammerman has, uh, now lives here in New Mexico, so, um, but New Mexico really is a nexus and a place where artists from a variety of different backgrounds want to live and want to be creative. So uh, the Schultzes didn't um, just collect artists mm -hmm. who live in New Mexico, uh, but it does represent mostly a New Mexico perspective and incredible diversity. From little tiny um, Thomas uh, Nastaway is an artist from Acoma, and he created uh, 20 ceramic vessels oh, wow. that fit onto a base that's this size. Mm -hmm. Miniature uh, vessels. So the world is depicted in these great works of art collected by Dr. and Mrs. Schultz. There you go. And it's happening right now at the Albuquerque Museum. Uh, Andrew, when is the show lasting until? Uh, the show will run through the summer, okay. uh, into the summer. So uh, we, we welcome people and we'd love to have people come and see their collections housed at the museum. There you go. Andrew Connors, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, David. We'll be right back.